We're sitting on a bus, but not just any bus. It's Paul McCartney, Linda McCartney's tour bus from Wings All Over Europe. Of course, Wings was the band that Paul and Linda formed after the Beatles, so early 1970s. And Paul and his family wanted a bus that was fun and summery, and he had two young girls. And so he wanted to have a bus that they could enjoy while they were on tour. The Wings Band went on tour in 1972, nine countries, this bus traveling at 35 miles per hour, bunk beds, they had a plate pen upstairs, mattresses upstairs, they could, kids could sleep. And so thinking of magical mystery tour from the Beatles era and the movie and the uh, song and the actual bus they had with these colors, that's what they recreated with this bus. We estimate this bus 200 to 400,000 US dollars, and that's a conservative auction estimate because so much history. And right at your back, there's an actual original trunk from the bus. Each of the band members, four of the band members, all had their own trunk. All their stuff would go in that trunk as they traveled over the nine countries throughout Europe. What fun. I'm going to take one of you quickly, and I'll, yes. I'll send it to Paul, actually. Yes, do. You're like a musician with those uh, <laughs> Of course, Nirvana, Kurt Cobain, incredible be incredibly collectible and valuable. So the guitar you see there is Sky Stang One. It's a Fender Mustang guitar used and played by Kurt Cobain for the In Utero album, celebrating 30 years this year. And also he used it, it was his workhorse, according to Ernie Bailey, his guitar tech. He used it 53 out of 63 performances in Europe and North America during the In Utero era. It's the last guitar he ever played in the United States when, in Seattle, in January of 1994 and the last guitar he ever played publicly in Munich in Germany in March of 1994 and of course sadly we lost Kurt. That guitar is estimated one to two million. All of the greats are represented. Prince, we have a Prince outfit, Prince lyrics. We have Eddie Van Halen's guitar. We have the four umbrellas from the Beatles, the Help movie, 1965. So iconic, one of them has a walkie talkie, one of them has a, a, a shield in there, like a sword. I mean, incredible stuff. Thinking about 1965, highly collectible, estimated 50 to 70,000. Amy Winehouse's bustier from the Brit Awards in 2008, Dolce Gabbana, mm -hmm. nice tartan bustier, estimated two to 4,000. The cigarettes are estimated from Kurt Cobain, eight to 1,200. But we have items at every price point.